In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at an example of an endothermic process. And I'm going to measure the temperature of the air in the room. So just 23.8 degrees. I'm going to add some baking soda, approximately 30 grams. That's going into the bottle here. Here. There go. Okay. So currently reading 23.5 degrees. Now I'll add the 100 milliliters of vinegar. We add vinegar to baking soda. It's bubbling and it's fizzing, producing carbon dioxide gas. Let's measure the temperature inside of the bottle now. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swirl the bottle to get a rapid production of carbon dioxide, and then I'm going to read the temperature again. I'm swirling. I'm going to read the temperature. And the temperature has dropped. It's now. 18.5 degrees Celsius. Try that one more time. Okay. Read the temperature. And now we're hitting a temperature of 17.5 degrees Celsius. So what we're seeing in this demonstration is a phenomena called Joule Thompson cooling. Inside the bottle, we're producing carbon dioxide gas. As gases expand, they will actually cool. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. Okay, read the temperature.